Well, members of the migrant caravan are not American. They're not even in the United States yet. According to the left, that makes no difference. To the left, there are two groups of people in the world, current American citizens and American citizens who simply haven't shown up yet. If you don't want them here immediately, then you are a monster. Watch. The president of the United States has decided that a couple of thousand scared, sick, you know, uh, people fleeing violence are a bigger threat to the United States than ISIS. I spent two days with a caravan and I didn't see criminals or rapists or terrorists. Donald Trump feeds off of this kind of ugliness and cruelty and his supporters uh, mm -hmm. back him on it because they didn't get the wall, but now they might be able to stop a, an imaginary caravan. People have gotten so much dumber in the last two years, it's unbelievable. And it shouldn't surprise us that in the face of programming like that, a dozen Honduran migrants have sued the administration for supposedly violating their constitutional rights, even though, once again, they have not yet reached the border yet, and they are, of course, not American citizens. Mike Donovan is CEO of Nexus Services, which is financing that lawsuit. He joins us tonight. Mike, thanks a lot for coming on. And for explaining hey, to me— Thanks for having me. Well, of course. A sincere question, and I I'm really am glad that you're here. Because it's hard to see what the standing is here. These are people who are not American citizens, are not on American soil, and some of them have declared intent to violate American law. How are their constitutional rights, the constitution of a country they're not part of, how are those rights being violated exactly? Well, so of the of the named plaintiffs in this lawsuit, each of them and each of the individuals in the in the purported class are individuals who want to seek asylum and do so legally. So I think that's an important part. Uh, of this conversation. But, Tucker, it's, it's a good question. The asylum, so we have an immigration law, it's a series of immigration laws, and one of those elements is asylum. And, and those laws uh, are specific to the individuals in this caravan who are coming to claim asylum. That, pro that in alone it may not be enough, but the president of the United States has taken uh, to making this caravan uh, a symbol of an invasion of our country. And he has taken uh, a great deal of time to defame the individuals who are traveling, uh, fleeing bloodshed in their home countries, trying to find a, a place where they can live and, 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 and support their families. Okay, I get, I, I get it, but, but hold on. Uh, what does that have to, and I understand you don't like that and you're on their side, you don't like Trump, fine. But what is that, how does that mean that they have a constitutional right that is being violated? What is that right? Where in the Constitution does it reside? As, a, as just a normal American, I'm confused. Can you help me? Yeah, absolutely. It's a right to due process. These individuals are coming to the country. Um, they have, in one way or another, stated their intent to come to the country. And the chief executive of this country has taken aim and attacked them. So what I'm saying is that their standing is very simple. They're asylum seekers. They want clarification. I think that we should respect these uh, migrants okay. for well, taking maybe the we time should to well, hold on wait, just stop, stop, stop this is a legal question so I get it we should respect sure. them you you're on the side of the migrants that's 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 your right I just want to know where my responsibility begins as 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 an American citizen sure. you're saying they have a constitutional right to due process but they're not Americans and they're not on US soil they're hundreds of miles from the United States they're not here so how, in what sense are they covered by our due process protect? Like, this is insane, and you know it's insane. I just yeah. want you to no. admit that it's insane. No it's, no, it's not insane, Tucker. They are claiming rights under the asylum provisions uh, of our statutes that affords them due process rights under that law. We have due process under the law. This is a law that is specifically directed to them. So, of course, they have due process rights. No, they do. Let, let me just correct you as a non-lawyer. They, they, they do not possess those rights if they're in another country and not U.S. citizens. So if they possess those rights, then, I don't know, the entire country of yeah. Nigeria or any, pick a country that's poor than the United States yeah. and say, we want to come there. President says you can't come. And all of a sudden, 800 million people sue you for violating their constitutional rights but in a country they've never been to? With, like, all, with, all due, with, with all due respect, Tucker, you know that that's not, exact, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about individual migrants who are coming together, who are on their way to the border to exercise their rights under U.S. law. No, but they have due process rights under that law. No, but, no, but it's not, it's but, not but different. But it's hold a, on, you, because it's a few. It it's, is different. What's the principle? In what sense is it different? What's the principle? If because you are a foreigner a, residing in a foreign in country— route. Okay. Well, I don't know if they're in route or if the not. Entire I mean, nation of, if, the, if the entire nation of Nigeria were en route to the United States, perhaps it would be apples to apples. But that's what you said. It's not correct. Okay, These okay, are but, individuals no, coming to this country it, it to does, seek asylum. Okay. But first of all, you don't know that. We don't know what their intent is. They're oh, sure hundreds of, no, actually, you don't. They're hundreds of miles away. I, uh, and asylum claims have to be made 
on U.S. soil, either in an embassy, a consulate, or at our border. Okay, that's the law. Speak as someone who purportedly defends the law. You know that, I know. So you can't actually claim that you're covered by the U.S. Constitution. Again, if you're not on U.S. soil and you're not a U.S. citizen, because if you could, unfortunately, then, no, that I hear is your the argument, law. But Tucker, well, it's not an argument; court, it's a fact. The courts don't. The, the courts don't agree with you. There's a court case in the D.C. Circuit um, that is in the matter of R.L. Uh, R. Johnson, where Judge Bosberg said that the administration can't use deterrence to, to curb asylum seekers who are coming to this country. I'm afraid that this is an area of law that's already been litigated. I'm not no, concerned about you're standing in, here. But you're I'm in, you are no, incorrect. You are, no, no you're, you're factually incorrect. The, the United States, hold on. The United States <laughs> Supreme Court has never said that due process protection applies to non citizens on foreign soil. That has never happened, and the you district, know it. The, the, the District okay. of Columbia federal courts have, okay. and that's where this so, case is. So are you maybe th one day we'll get to the Supreme right, Court. But I think it's important. But look, we've no, got no, a, here's what's important. Here's what, hold on. Here's what's important no. is that the rest of us know what the precedent is. And so is, by this standard, anyone in any country who says he's on his way to the United States and is walking in our direction can sue the United States for saying we don't want you? Like, you really want to set that precedent, the, or you don't if care? The president, abs do do I want to set the precedent, Tucker? If the president of the United States engages in abusive, violent rhetoric toward a group of people, okay. I want now to set just, the precedent just, that that's just, not okay. You just, no, you it's just with lost all due respect. Okay. No, you know what? You're 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 messing I with the legal system. I lost you because I'm calling the president. Th this right. president is behaving badly, and you know you don't it. like the president. And you so should what? condemn it too. Don't. It's not a matter okay, of not now you're moralizing the I don't like, the like every one of these people. Please. I don't okay. like the president now I'm out of time. threatening I thought to we were shoot children with rocks. Constitution. Do you okay. do you honestly okay. believe I'm that's okay? I'm not going to give you do more you air time okay? to do a scene and say, do I think it's okay? I want to talk about adult things. Like what does the Constitution uh, uh, guarantee foreigners? <laughs>